for a true fact, the secret reason the South lost the Civil War. But first, that should be a question of the day for you. Let me educate it here from its paper prison. The question, what was the first name of Robert E. Lee's son who served as an aide to Jefferson Davis? Now, it's a multiple choice. A, was that name Festus? B, Custis? Or C, Justice? The prize, the only prize, one pat on the back that you'll have to administer to yourself. Please don't call us. We don't have any operators to take your calls. We can't afford them. And if we could, we still couldn't afford prizes. This is a low-budget program. Now, take a sip of water. We'll be back momentarily with the correct answer. Okay, I'm calling time. Again, what was Robert E. Lee's son's name? Was it Festus, Custis, or Justice? The answer, Custis, Custis Lee. Now, what was the secret weapon of the North? It was this song right here. Lorena, Lorena, Lorena. This was actually composed by a Wisconsin preacher named Henry Webster in 1857. Now, poor Henry had proposed to an Ohio woman, and she rejected his offer of marriage. Heartbroken, he put his heartfelt sentiments into words and had a friend put those words to music. And immediately, in the North and the South, this song took off. It was a major hit for many years. Now, when the Civil War began, the Confederate soldiers thought they were going off to battle for a couple of weeks. It was almost a celebration when they left. They're leaving their lady loves behind to be heroes. And of course, you know what happened. It dragged on year after year after year. They were tired and hungry. They were being shot at. They had to kill others. They saw their fellow soldiers being shot to death. So they were already disenchanted with the war. But they also missed those lady loves. And as they marched along, they were singing this song about lost love, Lorena. And it drove many of them over the brink, caused them to desert. Thousands deserted because of this song. You think I'm exaggerating? The Confederate General John Hunt Morgan called this that cursed ballot and offered a reward for the assassination of Henry Webster. He said it cost him at least one major victory because he lost so many soldiers to desertion because of it. And that in turn might have turned the tide of the Civil War. Proof once again that the pen indeed is mightier than the sword. 